Hello, this is Mark here at Gary's Guitars, and I'm here for Tube Talk Volume 8. I think we're up to 8 now. And we're going to talk about microphonic tubes. So what is a microphonic tube? Um, literally, it's a tube that is picking up sound from around it. Uh, as tubes fail, they often go microphonic. So we say they go microphonic. And so what they do is, I have this... Uh, I have this Deluxe here, and um, I'm DeVille 212 Hot Rod Deluxe DeVille there, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to listen for it. And so the tool we need to find the microphone tube. So what's the symptom? Sometimes it's high end feedback, like a squealy high end feedback. Sometimes it's just a little you hear like a little extra ring. It's kind of like the same sound as really cheap pickups make where you can kind of like yell into them you know and they actually you can hear and so they pick up too much they're, they're doing too much uh physical pickup and not enough of the um the electronic pickup and so um it will lead to a you know uh, like i said squealy feedback dull sound here's how you can you can analyze for it which is this here right here's the tool we need this is a chopstick from our friends at ohana kitchen our neighbors and uh, it's important that it's wooden. Uh, you don't want to stick anything inside an amp that would conduct electricity, even if you're sure. Like in this case, with this Fender amp, the tubes are right here. We can see them. So I'm going to turn on, turn on, turn the volume up. And start whacking on some tubes with the chopstick. Let's see here. Oh, the standby's on. All right, now. There we go, that's the sound I'm looking for. So I'm tapping this tube, not so much ringing, but here, a bunch of ringing, like a bell ringing. And what this does is the physical vibration of the amp cabinet will be, um, will make the thing kind of, the, in, the innards of the tube resonate. And that will be picked up by the tube uh, electronically and kind of create this kind of feedback. So there's the bad one. This one's alright. This one's alright. Now if you, you can tap a tube next to it and because it's attached to the same chassis it will make some some of that belt sound. But you're looking for the one that's really like that. That's nothing compared to that. That tube has gone bad. Um, and that's a big sign of it. Now some some amps will have slightly, and some microphones as well, will have just slightly microphonic tubes just anyway. Even some tubes when they're new just have a little bit of that microphonics to it. But here we're dealing with 12AX7s, 12AT7s, tubes that are, are pretty quiet physically. So that tells us bad tube. This is a preamp tube so they can be swapped without rebiasing. So unplug bad tube, plug in good tube, and you should be ready to go. When we talk about the power tubes, which will also do that, these aren't doing it, but um, will also make that same sound when they go bad. That is something um, not necessarily a user friendly thing because uh, the bias may have to be reset or checked. And uh, that's the sh that, you know, some additional disassembly and, and such could be necessary, but that's something we can do for you as well here, or you can read about. Um, it's not rocket science, although it is a little dangerous sometimes to check your own bias because it's pretty high voltage. Um, so that's microphonic tubes. Um, that's the sound. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out all the other videos and uh, let me know if there's any questions that you want answered about tube amps. And check out our other videos online on Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.